With her fiery red hair and piercing green eyes, Meg Miles mesmerized the public starting from her high school days. Though renowned as a beauty, Meg kept her romantic affairs private over the years. She also led an intriguing life on and off stage. Facts First presents The Secret Dating Life of Meg Miles. Her figure was stunning. Grit and Glamour Meg Miles embodied a quintessential Hollywood story arc. Small-town girl heads to the big city and navigates fame's rewards and traps while staying true to her vision. Yet from her nomadic youth to her sunset sanctuaries healing injured animals, Meg defined an extraordinary journey marked by brilliant colors rather than black and white. Born in 1934 as Billie Jean Jones, Meg crisscrossed the Pacific Northwest in California during her school years as her family chased work in rural outposts. The lush forests and fertile fields kindling young Meg's imagination. Meg found escape from transient challenges and drudgery through dance, theater, and fantasy. Despite the family's modest means, her parents noticed Meg's outsized dreams and budding talent. They stretched finances for tap shoes and piano lessons, driving her to distant talent contests they hoped might unlock doors for their stage struck daughter. By high school, Meg's local performances hinted at the destined spotlight. After graduation, she channeled her aspirations into musical theater and dance in college. But during a visiting Hollywood Talent Scouts campus review, he singled out Meg as a shining prospect. When he offered one-way tickets to Tinseltown, Meg took the leap without hesitation. Her early L.A. years proved a feast and famine reality check. She rode highs from talent contest wins and lows churning through cattle call auditions. Early on, modeling work arose that celebrated her sensational figure and standout looks. But these very traits fueled repeated typecasting roadblocks when she pursued more serious acting roles. She refused to be marginalized, leveraging her versatility as an asset rather than a hindrance. She honed knockout singing chops in nightclubs. Soon she landed ingenue singing parts in crime dramas like Dragnet, and Phoenix City Story, displaying her burgeoning dramatic range. Rave reviews predicted her meteoric rise, but prejudice continued plaguing her progress. As rumors swirled about an alleged affair with Sammy Davis Jr., industry gatekeepers seemingly punished Meg's audacity. Meg's Passionate Romantic Voyage Mirroring her dynamic professional path, Meg Miles' romantic journey intertwined with some of the era's most prominent stars. During her early days, she became involved with fashion designer Oleg Cassini, known for outfitting celebrities and first ladies. As she mingled in glitzy entertainment circles, she attracted famous suitors throughout the 1950s and 60s, like Rat Pack talent Sammy Davis Jr., iconic crooner Bing Crosby, and future star producer Robert Evans. Her time in New York City brought new high-profile partnerships within the arts scene. She shared trysts with director Hal Prince of Broadway renown and champion jockey Willie Hartack. Her tumultuous affair with actor Francho Tone embodied the extremes of very public affection. In 1965, Meg married television producer Bob Duncan, marking a period of stability amidst her fast-paced life. Their collaborative union granted her new opportunities to develop passion projects until Duncan sought more latitude in 1982, dissolving the marriage. Each romantic chapter revealed added dimensions to her approachable glamour. Her spur-of-the-moment nature could inspire quick infatuations, evidenced by her rendezvous with A-listers like Sammy and Hal Prince during her bi-coastal days. Yet Meg also cherished lifelong bonds seen in her decade-plus marriage with Duncan. Though the relationship ended, their intimate professional teamwork and personal support underscored a genuine depth of care. Throughout shifting times and locales, Meg radiated an approachable glamour. Her graceful confidence and adventurous spirit attracted not only famous ladies' men, but also everyday admirers. Whether enjoying a high-profile fling or steady partnership, Meg embraced romance on her own terms. This independent streak meant Meg followed her desires rather than public expectations. 
The high number of alleged trysts with well-known men sparked occasional scandal, especially the rumors of an interracial affair with Sammy Davis Jr. during a controversial cultural period. But Meg chose fulfilling bonds over propriety. Above all, she remained open-hearted despite her epic ups and downs. She gave wholly and loved ardently, demonstrating resilience after painful splits like her sudden divorce from Duncan after 15 years. Though she treasured exciting affairs, her ability to also nurture longer-term relationships pointed to her versatility in romance. She merged the personal and professional in her own captivating terms, never afraid to take risks in chasing satisfaction. Her courage to explore the full spectrum of relationships makes her an example of boldness. Breaking Barriers Best known as a magnetic 1950s and 60s film femme fatale and smash 1970s and 80s soap opera star, Meg led an enduring legacy that shines long after the studio lights dimmed. By staunchly nurturing her passions and rejecting repetitive typecasting, she pioneered her own captivating path with courage and conviction. From the outset, young Meg struggled against stark stereotyping biases that weaponized her sensational beauty against substantive opportunity. As an aspiring starlet, she defied playing decorative dressing amid a sea of formulaic bombshells. Yet gatekeepers routinely dismissed her aspirations for complex character development or dramatic leading lady roles. Still, she persevered undeterred. She spent years singing gorgeously in seedy nightclub side stages while awaiting her spotlight. Her sultry and melancholy vocals mined depths beyond traditional ingenue crooners. When she landed bit parts and singing roles in early crime dramas, she maximized these moments to highlight her acting chops as well. Though initially typecast as a multi-threat temptress, she craftily set foundations for revelation. In time, she was able to grow by nurturing her talents strategically. By the landmark 70s and 80s era, ushering more textured female protagonist roles on TV, she manifests as a revelation darling. No longer the bombshell footnote, casting directors came calling for Meg to helm anchor soap parts, at last revealing her extensive dramatic range. As cunning secret spouse Joanna Yeager in the network hit All My Children, Meg mesmerized daytime viewers with her sophistication and intrigue. Fan letters flooded network mailrooms from dazzled audiences applauding her nuanced acting. As her credibility swelled to new heights, her personal world expanded too. She long nurtured an affinity for animal welfare amid the synthetic Hollywood hullabaloo. After decades entrenched under studio lights, she sought renewed purpose, interacting with natural worlds rather than performing prescribed personas. She became known as Manhattan's avian aid nurse, rehabilitating injured urban birds and beasts within her own little apartment sanctuary. Now it's time to hear from you. What part of Meg's story do you find most inspiring? Let us know in the comments section below.